right, welcome back. Insurgency. Zulom visited Goza town, shares food and also 24 million naira cash to 1,200 vulnerable citizens. All right, the news in detail. Bono State Governor Professor Babagana Umara Zolom used the all of Monday for humanitarian activities in Gwoze, Warabe, and Polka Hall in Gwoza local government area of Southern Bono. At Gwoshe, Zulam supervised the distribution of food items and 24 million naira in cash for 1,200 vulnerable citizens who returned from Polka and Meiduguri. Each household received a 50 kg, 50 bags, a 50 kg bags of maize, one bag of 50 kg sorghum, a 25 kg bag of beans, and a 12.5 kg bag of rice, 5 liters of cooking oil, and condiments, and 20,000 naira cash. The distribution, Zolom said, was to continually support resettled communities before the raining season, during which they are expected to undertake agricultural activities in safety in farmlands as part of livelihoods. The citizens returned to Ngoshe on the 15th of October 2020 after clearance from the military. Governor Zulom also assessed basic amenities after which he ordered the State Universal Basic Education Board to immediately provide furniture and ensure Ngoshe Central Primary School is reopened in two weeks. The school project is currently at 95% completion level. Also visited by the governor was an ongoing Ngoje Primary Health Care Center where he charged the contractor to accelerate to completion to enable health workers provide services to the community. After leaving Ngoje, Governor Zulam traveled to Warabe also in Goza and inspected 350 houses being built for residents whose homes were destroyed in by insurgents. Zulam also visited Polka where he inspected the construction of mega secondary school. All right, and as it is, a lot of people have commended this governor. In fact, a lot of them have been raining his praises. They've been singing his praises that he is the best governor so far in the north. In fact, in the best governor in, as far as the country is concerned. In fact, a lot of people are like, wow, this man is so humble, is so loyal to the extent that he does not carry himself above anyone. Okay, and um, that is a very good one. And meanwhile, he has been able to you know, show how a good leader is supposed to act to the people of Bono. Well, of recent, a lot of things have been happening. A lot of rigorous things have been happening to the people of Bono State. But this time around, the governor have proved to the people that he is a leader with integrity by visiting the villages so that these people will not die of hunger and look at what he has done so far he has given them after giving them a lot of you no know, foodstuffs he has also given them the sum of twenty thousand naira each hmm. 
this is what we are talking about when a country is you no know, in a mess we need a leader that will come out to say these people we are going to make them smile and that is it not that a leader whereby when people are even complaining that is when you will not be attacking the people no that is not what how it's supposed to be because a lot of people are surprised at what is actually happening in this country is it not human beings that are leading us then why is it that they don't even want to listen are you sure the people that are you no know, leading us are you no know, are you sure blood runs in their veins because i don't understand a situation whereby people are not okay, okay with the way you are ruling yet you are not even ready to listen to them you believe what you are doing is the best and a lot of people have seen that in, under a normal circumstance somebody who is reasonable a human being will never behave in that manner now the money is there it can go it, it can circulate a lot of people can always enjoy themselves if the leader is ready to release money to circulate in the in the country but the reverse has been the case they prefer that only the cacos enjoy while the masses die of hunger then why is it like that and these are the people that will tell you that they have gone to mecca these are the people that will tell you that they believe in god they love god and yet you are suffering your people because all the money these people are making i don't know where where are they taking the money to or do they think this is how the old life will continue forever they forgotten that one day they will die and they will make account of how they lived their life while on earth they should have known that this is vanity as in vanity upon vanity all is vanity but a lot of them i don't know what they are thinking they want to acquire the whole world they believe that they can live they can live in the whole world forever no you can't live in the world forever in case you don't know and i don't know why is it that these people even at their age that they are supposed to be close to their creator begging praying for mercy that is not it but the reverse has been the case but it's only a few of them that will be able to know that wow there is god somewhere well the case of the governor of bono state has proven to all nigerians that things can be done rightly things can be done rightly and then as it is someone like this man he, he is a man that has the fear of god that is why he can he can is able to do all this you can imagine this man is another man but he's doing the right thing this is to tell you that buhari does not have excuse or whatsoever to say he's not going to listen to the pr protesters in any way he does not have any excuse because this is the same northerner that is doing all this and the people are praying for him so what are we talking about come on this is so unfair it is so unfair i pray that in no time they will have conscience to think about doing well for the country before it gets worse and that is it well that is it my people on this one meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless